My name's Dr. Danger Zone. Yes, I'm a real doctor. No, I don't just play one on Twitch TV. And in today's King's Raid video, I'm going to be talking about the global survey that Vespa has put out for King's Raid that will run from December 2nd to December 9th. One of the things I love about King's Raid is that they are steadily working on new characters, content, and backstory events. They also periodically engage with the community for events and feedback. King's God Talent, King's Sea Raiders program, the user pick costumes, and even the in-game character Kirze is a result of the community character design competition they held this past year. Here they are again, asking the community for our input and giving us 500 rubies for our time to boot. Now, these data they're collecting will likely be put toward improving gameplay elements that aren't working for players, improving quality of life, as well as how they will focus their efforts in the 2020 calendar year. So, because of the rubies and the long-term gameplay improvement, it's doubly in your best interest to take the time to fill out the survey. I'll include links to both the post on the forum and a direct link to the form in the description down below. Lana. 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 Lana! What? <laughs> Danger Zone! Shoutouts to Reddit user Aziel for posting this in the King's Raid sub. While this announcement was originally made on the Plug Cafe forums, I personally find those forums to be a bit chaotic at times and tend to be reliant on posts making their way to the subreddit. So, credit where credit is due. I'll put a link to this post in the description down below, and if you found this helpful, uh, give them an upvote. Greetings, Raiders. This is GM Orville. It's already December, and 2019 is almost over. D smiley face. So, we would like to conduct a survey which will help us improve our game. We will try our utmost to improve our game based on the given opinions via the survey. Take your time and please follow the details and attend the survey. <laughs> Thank you in advance. I went ahead and completed the first page of the survey, which is primarily asking for demographic data. They also ask you for your King's Raid in-game ID. Now, before I get into this survey, I want to have a bit of a disclaimer. Warning. All content found on Dr. Danger Zone videos, including text, images, audios, or other formats, were created for informational purposes only. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never describe professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you've seen on this video. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor, go to the emergency department, or call 911 immediately. Dr. Danger Zone does not recommend or endorse any specific tests, decisions, products, procedures, opinions, or other information that may have been mentioned on YouTube or Twitch TV. Reliance on any information provided by Dr. Danger Zone is solely at your own risk. Well, not exactly that disclaimer, although all of that is true, and definitely don't sue me. However, what I really mean about Disclaimer is that there are a lot of people that play King's Raid, and some of them have been playing for a long time, maybe some newer players, etc. And depending on how you are in the game, the things that you enjoy about the game, or the things that you like to do in the game, you might have a different opinion than me about the way that I fill out this survey. And I am both open to suggestions as well as additional information, or even criticisms. So please just keep in mind, I'm sharing my opinion from my perspective, and while I'd love to hear all the different opinions you guys have in the comments down below, I would really appreciate if you could keep things respectful and avoid flaming. Now, on to how I filled out the survey. Let's go. First question. How much are you satisfied with League of Honor? One through five. League of Honor being the uh, draft and ban PvP. Um, I actually find it pretty enjoyable. Uh, there's limited to 20 entries per day. That can be, you know, if you want to play more on certain days, that can be a bit of a bummer. But in general, uh, I don't even necessarily have enough time to go through all my keys each day. And the rewards are really nice. So, um, you know, while there might be some room for improving uh, League of Honor, I thought, you know, it's actually quite good and enjoyable in its current form. Um, I think the people that probably suffer the most are individuals who don't have a huge champion pool, uh, but they've kind of implemented some things that can help with that a little bit. How satisfied are you with League of Victory? Um, League of Victory is okay. You see a lot of the same stuff every week, certain champs dominating the meta. And while that's, you know, typically well and good, I think that um, 
I like when they do some buffs and some nerfs to mix things up so that it doesn't get too stale. And honestly, the teams at the top of the top, um, at, you know, you'll see some interesting combinations uh, and things like that. But like most games, people tend to find what works the most efficiently at lower levels, and then that becomes, you know, the meta. Um, how much am I satisfied with Guild War? Uh, full disclosure, I only played a little bit of Guild War. My guild started getting um, less active at this particular point in the game. And so um, I did a couple uh, times with the Guild War thing. It wasn't anything too interesting um, just because, uh, again, because of our guild participation falling off, we weren't staying hyper competitive like we normally were. And, uh, you know, it was just some additional freebies, essentially, like another avenue for that. How satisfied am I with World Boss? Honestly, I really like World Boss. It's just a showcase of your strongest units to put up big numbers over a pretty long, drawn-out fight. Uh, the rewards are nice. I'd say the only thing that I kind of disliked about world boss was when they started combining all of the server populations to kind of compete for the same rewards uh because of how many i guess whales there are in certain other regions i definitely noticed a dramatic decrease in how high i could place in in world boss after that um but i think with you know more play and things like that uh, my rank might go back up and even without you know a super strong rank i think it's a fun piece of content for big numbers and it's free rubies every week uh main story uh i think the storyline in the game is really cool um i always like how they you know uh, add new things with the side stories but as far as the main story is concerned I'm really interested to see where they take it next I would love to see maybe like an anime uh, you know uh, for the show which I think there have been talks about uh, things like that but uh, you know nothing uh, at the moment how satisfied am I with battles overall uh, for an autoplay RPG mobile game uh, I think that the battles are pretty cool I think that you know being able to uh, time and use abilities, multiple abilities for different characters. Different characters have, uh, you know, deeper subsets of abilities. The graphics look nice. You can keep track of your damage in combat as well as, uh, you know, you fight a lot of different unique enemies. Some battles require you uh, to do it manually. Uh, it kind of mixes things up, so I I'm pretty satisfied with this as well. Uh, sub stories. Uh, there aren't a ton of them, and yet and uh they haven't made them for some of my favorite heroes but they're definitely the right direction i think that the bonus uh costumes you can unlock for them and the kind of little bit of trinket freebies they give you are nice um event dungeon central orville these are always nice they come at pretty regular intervals the difficulty level is either uh fixed normal story based content where anybody could do it and kind of reap the benefits as well as kind of a more stratified uh difficult stamina spending dungeon which are nice for like veterans or people sitting on a lot of stamina to kind of accumulate rewards and things like that a uh, big fan of event dungeons uh how satisfied are you with guild raid uh, i like this again you know uh kind of like more long drawn out boss based fights freebies etc my guild being less active now uh basically i haven't run one of these in ages uh and uh the participation you know it's not too much of an ask to stay active in your guild to satisfy these so this feels pretty good guild conquest okay so this was one of the last pieces of content that my guild was hyper competitive in during uh my time when we were topping content and we kind of ended up breaking up into different groups to try to maximize our units for certain bosses to get the highest score we possibly could i thought this was really interesting i like the opportunity to kind of coordinate with uh two of my different guild members to take down some of these very hard conquest bosses um i like that certain units that i prioritized and specialized in became useful to my guild in certain contexts of content that weren't otherwise available uh again pretty dope freebies they added uh, new artifacts etc uh because i haven't done it recently i don't know if there's any current like issue with that so uh take this opinion with a bit of a data grain of salt uh how satisfied am i with dragon raids normal hard dragon raids are cool i like that they're a way to get gear i like that they are not 
the only way to get gear anymore. The thing I will say about this is that the inventory restrictions that you have as like a free-to-play player or not having spent rubies on this uh, can be a bit probably annoying uh, as well as just inventory management even as a person with expanded inventory sometimes i find that it's just a little irritating to have to go and do uh the inventory when i'm soloing dragons now i know they implemented this new kind of loot opening system when you're running dragons with a lot of different people and that's so that people with vastly different inventory capacities can be a little more accommodating and i like that a lot actually uh, big quality of life improvement uh, field raid. Um, honestly, I put three. I can't really comment on this. This is something that I don't participate in, but I look forward to kind of exploring more in the coming days. Uh, challenge raid. Similar thing. I can't say I'm particularly satisfied. I used to do it with my guildies to get the rewards that they would offer for completions. A lot of times, because my comps aren't big... You know, they weren't big carry comps with big invested units at the time. I'd often have to look for a couple of very strong guild members to help facilitate me clearing content and things like that. Um, but uh, the one thing that I did kind of like about this uh, mode is that you actually do are required to manage your units in manual mode. Uh, you can't just auto this. Uh, and the challenges are pretty hard and take some ability timing. So I kind of appreciate content that uh, emphasizes actually knowing how to use your units and skill sets. Um, Tara challenge. I mean, it's freebies. It resets every month. Uh, I can't complain. There's some very difficult ones, but honestly, through reaching out to the Reddit or viewing things that the community have posted, I um, am have been able to clear content that I otherwise hadn't previously been able to. And I, I like things like this that kind of, you know, um, once you have a nice uh, rhythm or, or a certain uh, roster of units, you're able to eventually clear all the different challenges it has to throw at you. Uh, Royal Underground Labyrinth. So one thing that I have a difficult time with with uh, Labyrinth is that they give you a lot of keys. Now, granted, they give you a whole month to reset it, and they offset the reset cycle from a lot of other resets. Instead of resetting on the first of the month, it resets on the 16th of the month. Royal Underground Labyrinth provides another means to collect uh, parts that you can craft into unique uh, treasure, random, you know, attempt things cool freebies um i kind of like that they uh, rely on you using certain specific units uh tank assassin uh etc um and having at least a couple of those that can you know uh be slotted in to fulfill some of the challenges that this content has uh but there's also ways to kind of use your best units in each of these still uh so that you don't you aren't forced into using only a select style of unit and your best units can still carry you kind of deeper into the labyrinth uh eclipse mode i have dabbled with eclipse mode a bit uh just to make sure that i don't cap out um, but i am not spending a lot of stamina so it's not something i'm running super regularly uh i like the premise this definitely is geared toward high level very experienced players who want to be able to use a lot of their units that are heavily invested in in essentially an endless uh, horde battle mode. Um, this is really cool. I think that when you take Eclipse mode and you can travel further and further progression-wise as your uh, units improve, as their unique weapons improve, and as your roster improves, this can be a pretty satisfying uh, way to kind of do all that. Because prior to this endless battle mode, uh, essentially you are either limited to four-man roster for content, six-man roster for content, eight-man world boss. You can now do eight-man solo things. But this takes even more teams into a uh, kind of chained event. Tower of Ordeals. Uh, Tower of Ordeals is great. It's free awakening materials. It's free uh, transcending materials. You run it once a week. You can pop off two infinity stones just from the fragments you get, and the fragments just add up. It's not super hard to do once you have a pretty solid roster. And I remember when I was advancing in Tower of Ordeals originally, and I felt really satisfied every time I got a little bit further any given week uh, to get more and more of these materials that I needed to you know, uh, accelerate my team. Trial of the God King. 
Trial of the God King is new content that they introduced with the Soul Weapon update. So the Soul Weapon update is a whole different discussion that I'm sure people in the community have a variety of feelings about. Um, Trial of the God King, I have, you know, it's a time limited I event in the sense that you only get two entries a week. So, or excuse me, not time limited. Um, it's time gated. Uh, event so essentially you can only do two entries a week unless you're willing to spend very high ruby uh, rates to refill those entries uh, additionally how much you gain from this is pretty small at the moment but i mean everything adds up um in general i find this interesting um as another layer of gameplay uh but just overall i think you know it was okay uh, the soul weapons, you know, add another layer, but um, as far as the actual experience, it, it, these are pretty challenging content. Uh, using the right characters is pretty important, and getting further and advancing into the Trial of the God King can uh, require some pretty deep game knowledge, as well as maybe some pretty impressive uh, unique weapons. Special Shop. The special shop is the one of the things that I want to say I'm the least satisfied with lately. And this isn't to say like, oh, their price points are, uh, you know, super terrible or, oh, they're always pushing really expensive packs, da, 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 da. I guess my main point of reference for my satisfaction is that being a longtime player, I've seen the special shop over the years and the special shop has changed in a couple ways one the amount of packs and what they offer in a pack has changed significantly uh since i started and that's kind of whatever but the heroes and the weapons uh that you can get through the special shop have shifted a bit so one of the things is that the special shop always used to discount costumes when they first released 30 percent and so if you were paying attention to costume releases and you saw a couple you liked you could snag them up in the first week or so and get a pretty nice discount uh and you felt kind of rewarded for getting that now basically costumes release and th there is no discount now they still give costume tickets and and, and opportunities to get uh you know some discounts like this current black friday deal uh but in general i kind of miss having that regular expected always get a 30 percent discount on the new costumes right away maybe that's not a practical business decision uh but that's kind of where my satisfaction with that lies. Uh, the other thing is that when new heroes used to drop, they would do double rates on your special summons. And whether that's tickets or ruby-based special summons, double rates to getting unique weapons was pretty substantial because the rates in general are quite abysmal. For the first 10 slots, it's 1%, and for the last slot, it's 3%. So double rates, you know, double percent. Uh, I kind of miss that. Um, I have a decent stockpile of 10 plus ones because I was waiting to see if they'd ever do it again. They haven't so far. I'm not convinced that they will. And again, maybe it's like more of a business decision style thing. 2D illustrations. Love the artwork. No complaints. Super dope. 3D graphics. Love the graphics. Super dope. No complaints. Uh, you know... I, it's one of the main things that has uh, appeals to me for the game, the graphics, the character designs, etc. Uh, game sounds and music, the only thing I will say about this is that I like having sounds sometimes, and sometimes I like to mute it. Whatever. Uh, I like that they're working and collaborating with artists to create new title card uh, music regularly. That is super dope. I hope they keep doing that. Um, how satisfied am I with King's Raid overall? I really like the game. I think it's pretty tight. Uh, and 5 out of 5. I always recommend it. Content uh, I like the most among the list. I put other. Uh, I told other because really my big things that I like are characters, costumes, and content. And that's content in the sense that uh, they're always trying to release new uh, Central Orville events. They're trying to 
give us backstory into the characters through uh, special dungeons or uh, you know sub stories, uh, the birthday uh, things from the memory uh, archives, things like that. Uh, content that I like the least, again, special shop. Honestly, at this point, I only go in there to buy uh, or to do my daily free summon and buy costumes. So you know, it's not a big draw for me and it's not that i dislike it like if they got rid of the special shop entirely i would be like what and i know they need the special shop to make money so i'm not even trying to get into the weeds with that uh but basically i just wrote and you can't see it because it's a little bit lower than uh what my uh slide is cut for i but i basically said you know uh, you've always been really generous with your freebies and your offerings. I still feel like you are quite generous with events and compensation, but I do miss the days when you would give 30% discounts on newly released costumes and double unique weapon summon rates. Uh, again, uh, these aren't like massive criticisms, so please don't take them as such. Next page, additional survey list. So, how much are you satisfied with the thousand day events? I thought it was cool. Uh, you know, a little visibility to the game. Uh, freebies that basically you collected some pretty high level freebies just for logging in. Uh, the event dungeon was nice uh, because again, freebies just for doing stuff. That's pretty easy. Um, what I liked and disliked, generous rewards. Uh, I, and I'm always glad when they're kind of celebrating impressive milestones. Like they're getting up to their three year anniversary for this game. And honestly, with the way that things are, uh, it can be really hard in this kind of environment, uh, maintaining players' attention, uh, you know, developing in a, in a way that doesn't become too cash grabby. And so I'm just always really, uh, you know, grateful when they uh, are even able to do something like this in mobile games that I play. Uh, how much am I satisfied with the soul weapons? I said three. Uh, I said three primarily not because I'm unsatisfied, but primarily because I kind of have a distinct lack of... Uh, ability to explore and utilize them as much because some of the main characters I've invested in I haven't necessarily got their soul weapon yet uh, due to the nature of how you acquire uh, soul weapons um, so I chose you know since I did pick three instead of four or five I said that well it's kind of hard to get the soul weapon I want uh, maybe I'm not lucky maybe this isn't a, a, a shared opinion but this is kind of you know what I thought uh, I'm not satisfied with the amount of rewards uh, from the trial of the king and eclipse road I, I only say that because um, you know if I was maybe accumulating these at a faster rate due to how many you can kind of it's similar to unique weapons where you put them into each other right so uh it takes obviously quite a bit of investment to upgrade these and not that these should be super easy to get or everybody should have access to them but you know there are slightly easier ways to get a hold of a unique weapon uh, for example uh or something like this so uh, those aren't necessarily as readily available yet and uh, other uh basically just my casual style hasn't necessarily allowed me to dive into this as much as i tend to focus on heroes i'm already invested in so you know uh, i have a couple odd soul weapons but they're for heroes that i kind of use for this and that content and uh you know haven't really paid a lot of attention to it uh favorite hero this was super hard even though they gave you max possible three, I found this really hard to narrow down because uh, at the end of the day, for me, one of the big things I love about this game is it's a hero collector. So I ultimately uh, flip-flopped a little bit at the end, but I chose Luisia, Nyx, and Urza. So one of the things I really like about some of these characters is either their character design or maybe the costumes they have uh, available. And some of it I like is how satisfying I feel they are to play. So uh, Nyx, for example, uh, is probably my favorite character. Uh, he has my most investment. I really like that he summons swords from another dimension, etc., etc. Like these kind of elements that kind of add a lot of depth and interest to characters, uh, you know, make them really interesting to me. He's also a mage but he's a physical style mage which is a little bit different um and luisia i love you know her in really long drawn out fights i love her damage i love you know uh that she's actually a interestingly unique character in the sense that she has different forms from like young uh 
middle to adult and personally i only ever use the adult form but you know it's kind of like an interesting little uh character model element that they included and then urza you know similar with luisia i like vampires uh and she's just really satisfying to play when her uh skill three is going and her skill one is critting and she just keeps the gets to keep spamming her skill one that's just really fun really fun uh, manual play style uh can clear some really cool content and it's very satisfying um if i chose a hero please select additional details okay i always want more costumes this is <laughs> you know uh i i can't you know ever be dissatisfied when i acquire a new costume that i really really like not all the costumes that come out are my style or of my interest so you know when that happens like lucy has a ton of costumes but some of them are for her forms that i don't use uh if it's not an adult costume i don't really get it so you know there's that um included in more stories i love to see uh more background and context for these characters i want to know how they're related and i want to know how they interact with one another uh and then lastly uh, i want my favorite character to be included in other content such as anime and a novel absolutely with the anime or whatever i want to see my characters 100 percent um i didn't have other uh any suggestions for costume of customizing sets i was so felt so put on the spot i was like i have a ton of ideas that I remember when they did a survey before, I suggested some things I thought would be cool for Luisia or some things I thought would be cool for Nyx. Uh, but I have to try to dig up that uh, survey response so that I can include it here. And I just wanted to uh, get a little further on with the video. Uh, Black Friday sales packages in the sales shop. Okay, what I will say is that, you know, it's cool that they bothered to do this because they didn't have to. Uh, additionally, I'm never really huge on like, ooh, buy all these super spendy things so um you know they asked for an opinion i was like well the high value low cost packs they basically offered a black friday pack where they're like spend three dollars get three thousand rubies now compared to a lot of their other ruby uh you know purchase packs that you can get even with like a hundred percent bonus this still had an inherent a lot of value um and so i like that especially because that gears toward kind of boosting up or helping out either newer players or early on players without having to commit a lot of money um black token shop i, I was slightly more pleased than neutral because essentially the black token shop it's just you know here's an added benefit for some stuff you already bought and while i might not be a big purchaser i can see like you know if you were buying things it'd probably be nice to be rewarded uh with getting some extra perks uh so why not um and then any suggestions uh, opinions for better game service so it's cut off here and my emote is blocking it but i'll just tell you what i put uh new single pve content i'm more of a solo player um i like to do some stuff with friends or guildies sometimes but i don't want to feel like i am required to do that so even when they converted dragons to be soloable with a full team as opposed to soloable with a partial team i was pretty appreciative of that uh new events i always like new events whether it's central orville events maybe it's just some new kind of content that they're developing uh i'm always game to try it and the fact that they're still trying to put out new stuff try new things test it let it fail take it back to the drawing board and rework it that's pretty cool uh last thing i selected was reduction of gameplay pressure simplify missions reduce number of certain gameplays now it is worth noting that they've already done this and i thought it was a pretty big quality of life thing um if you are an og player you'll know this and if you aren't you won't but the daily mission requirement and weekly rooster requirements used to be a little bit different additionally the amount of entries you'd have for conquest uh, upper dungeon etc used to be higher and there were different strategies for using loot boosters etc to max min now it's like not as stressful and not as pressured so honestly i just like when they keep doing you know reduction of gameplay pressures i know they want to have me be in the game log in the game keep me in the game but also there's just so much to do sometimes even if i wanted to just do the bare minimum of everything every day that would be so much time for me to do and it's not necessarily something i can do every day so if they choose to do that that's cool if they don't uh it's not gonna break my heart or anything
For the suggestions about the costumes or the customized sets, I did want to actually take the time to just say, you know, while I might have some ideas about heroes that I want to, you know, see in costumes, etc., etc., one of the things I want to emphasize to Vespa is that they have a very creative and really amazing artist in the community, and they should continue to encourage, engage, and collaborate with them on creating new costumes. I know in games like Seven Nights, they've done something similar where they'll do costume competitions and then implement the costume costumes that people vote on and stuff like that and I just think it's cool both as a community member to have a say in like what kind of costumes are coming up next and also to have community members see their work in the game it is amazing and honestly this is kind of my uh suggestion about this particular uh thing next page games I'm playing other than King's Raid um I listed mobile games here Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Fire Emblem Heroes um, I don't really, you know, mobile games versus my PC games are kind of apples and oranges for me. Uh, I play mobile games in a certain context. I play PC games in a certain context. And they don't really compete for my attention in the same way. So I figured I would suggest games that uh, kind of are in that same space. Favorite cartoon anime? I thought this question was too hard to answer uh on the spot and i felt a little persecuted so i didn't know what to put nothing yet uh any ideas for a king's raid collaboration please make suggestions so what i think they're referring to here is collaborating with other ips in introducing characters to uh those content uh you know so either king's raid characters into some other game or other game or title characters into king's raid personally I'm kind of a fan of original characters, uh, but, you know, there's a lot of the player base who might, you know, be interested in dabbling with other things, and so, you know, I'm kind of down to check out whatever, uh, and if I don't really like it, I just won't get the characters. Uh, King's Raid making character songs, which heroes units would you recommend? I honestly thought, although they're not necessarily, like, big fan favorite characters of mine, I thought it'd be cool to make, uh, songs for characters that have musical elements, such as Shea or, uh, Rehartna, um, characters that either have instruments or in their skins they have instruments, because I think that just could, you know, let their creativity run with that and find different ways to incorporate maybe those characters into different kinds of content, uh, featured in different places. And then any other uh, suggestions or opinions, feel free to add. Uh, I'm going to take some time off stream to fill that question out. But generally, I just want to let them know that uh, I'm paying attention. Uh, I'm, I think they're doing a good job, and I'm having a good time. I know that they're going to get a lot of good feedback from people who maybe have run into some difficulties that I haven't run into, or some, you know, progression walls, some... Uh, super end game issues or lack of interest in playing it and you know i'm just one person submitting uh, my survey into the crowd but uh hopefully they will still find some benefit in the information that i'm providing and i hope you enjoyed checking out my survey results for this particular uh global improvement survey make sure you fill out yours again Links to the post, the Reddit post, and the survey directly are in the description down below. Lastly, I'd really want to know, question time. Basically, what do you think is the best thing about King's Raid right now? And what thing are you the most unsatisfied with? You know, maybe you put some of these answers in your survey, or maybe you thought that I answered the wrong way when I filled out the survey. Either way, put those answers in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you fill out your survey and collect your rubies. And maybe more importantly, give Vespa the feedback so that they can continue to improve King's Raid and introduce features that you want in the future. If you have any questions or feedback for me, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I try to respond to everybody's comment. Also, if you aren't already, consider joining the King's Raid subreddit where you can find helpful announcements user-generated content, and advice, similar to the things we talked about today. Make sure you read the rules before posting. And make proper use of daily discussion and weekly hero discussion mega-threads. Until next time, keep it locked into the uh, danger zone! Appreciate it a lot.